Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for air, air gun, gun detectives. <laughs>
push it forward. And then your safety on it is this hammer on the back. You got to pull the hammer back to disengage the safety. So it's a pretty cool rifle. So these have open sights. This one fully pumped up. Depending on what round you use, you might be able to put a really light alloy, but you could get velocity up to 800 feet per second if you pump this fully up and you use a really, really lightweight projectile. The lever on this is made out of cast, so it's metal. It's actually metal. The overall gun is 39 inches long. It's got a 20 inch barrel and weighs just under six pounds, about 5.8 pounds. Okay. So that's, that's the adult version. And then once again, it does have, um, I didn't cover that, but it does have some uh, open sights on it. They're adjustable for elevation only. Okay. Now, we have the junior version. Okay, the junior version, very similar. As I said, the kit comes with the glasses. This one actually comes with BBs. The difference is this has a smooth bore. The other version, this has actually a rifled barrel but you could still shoot pellets in this if you want to but it's pretty much designed for bbs and it's got a reservoir right here on the side you just open this up and you can fill that up with about 50 bbs and once again it feeds the same way the difference with this one is you still need to cock it back but this is just one pump that's it that's all it takes, one pump. You just pump it up one time. It's for the little ones, and then you would push your bolt forward. The safety is exactly the same. You pull the hammer back. We'll go out and demonstrate that. But this shoots, uh, they say, up to about 350 feet per second. So it's, it's very lightweight. This weighs about a pound plus less than the other one. So you're looking right under five pounds for this one. It also has the shorter length of pull, which is good for the little ones. This is great for getting the young ones started shooting, teach them about uh, gun safety, and uh, you know, trigger control the whole bit. But th this is very inexpensive. These run the whole kit. So the BBs, the glasses, and the targets run right around 45 bucks. So that might give you an option for the little ones when it comes, uh, you know, thinking of a possible Christmas gift. But let's do our usual. Let's go take these out and uh, let's run them through our test. And uh, let's just go have some fun. And then we're going to come back and uh, we'll talk about it. All right. Stay tuned for the next segment. All right. Let's test out some velocity on our 1866s. We'll do the junior first. And technically this one, you only pump it once. Now, I'll be honest with you. I pumped it like twice real quick. And it does bump up the velocity V just a little bit, nothing significant. So just we're just gonna pump it once. We're gonna use the 5.1 grain Barra uh, Zinc BBs. So again, we always cock these things first, then you give it a pump, then we slide it forward. And like I said, we're just gonna try BBs on this. I'm gonna shoot five shots, we'll average it out. So shot number one, 316. That's right around what we're expecting here. Shot number two, 306, shot number three, 310, shot number four, 307, and let's do one more. and 315. Yeah, that's right you expect. It's a little over 300 feet per second. Now it's going to vary depending on what type of pellet you use. We're just using BBs here. And uh, again, this is for the little ones. They only have to pump it one time. So 300 feet per second, that's probably a really good range for them. Okay, let's move on and I'm going to test the adult version and we'll go from there. All right, let's test out the adult version of the 1866. This one is actually a multi-pump, so I'm going to just pump this one up 10 times and we'll average it out for velocity. We'll shoot five shots. Just going to shoot the 5.1 zinc BBs. This does have a rifled barrel. You can shoot pellets in it. It's just a lot quicker to go with the BBs. So we did the junior with the BBs. We'll do this one with the BBs. So five shots. We'll average it out. Again, depending on what you're shooting, your velocity is going to vary, whether it be an alloy pellet, certain types of weights of lead and style lead pellets. So it's just going to vary, but you're going to get a base here just with BBs. All right, 10 pumps. Shot number one. 
646. All right. And shot number two. 682. All right. Okay. And shot number three. 691. Okay. Okay, shot number four. 689, and let's do one more. You know, there's really no effort to pumping this up at all. It's really easy. All right, so our final shot will be 675. All right, there's your average velocity. That's for the adult version, so. And uh, pretty quiet too, definitely backyard friendly. So uh, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a little accuracy test with our 1866. Um, we're just going to do the uh, adult version, not the kitty version. Kitty version is designed for plinking, it's not designed for major accuracy. But we're going to be shooting the uh, Barra Steel BBs. Now, this can shoot pellets as well because it does have a rifled barrel. But I'm going to just shoot from our 10 meters here, 32 feet, and just see how well uh, it groups with BBs. Also, we're going to shoot our splatterburst targets, our foreign splatterburst, and we're going to go for grouping. I'll aim at dead center, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll do 10 pumps. Of course, I'll fast forward through that and save you guys through the pain of that process. But go ahead and take a quick look. You can see how far back we are. All right. Shoot five shots. Okay. That's one. So high. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, there's your five shots. Um, that was with BBs. Again, it does shoot with pellets, a little more accurate with pellets. But anyway, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test the pool weight on both our bearers here. We've got our trusty Lyman Trigger gauge here. Let's, uh, we'll start with the uh, junior one first, then I'll move over to the other. Okay, reset this. All right, that was six pounds, 7.3 ounces. Six pounds, 7.3 ounces. So nice safe trigger for the little ones, that's for sure. Okay, let's try our adult version here. All right, we'll reset our gauge and see what we get out of this one. All right, that was six pounds, 4.1 ounces. Six pounds, 4.1 ounces. So roughly about the same triggers on them. All right, but nice safe triggers. Especially for the little ones, that's for sure. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to do a little plinking here. I'm going to actually use the kitty version. Uh, Max here is going to join us. He's going to use the adult version. We're just going to shoot BBs once again. I kind of like this one pump. I think you're just going to do one pump as well, or are you going to do two? Uh, probably two. Okay, he's going to do two pumps. That way we won't waste your time of him pumping this thing up the whole time. So, um, as again, we're going to shoot just the, uh, the Barra Zinc BBs. We're our usual, same distance we did the accuracy test from, the uh, 10 meters or 32 feet. Go ahead, take, take, a, take a quick look here so you can check that out. Okay, you can see our target there, we got some little shotgun shells, some pop cans. Remember, these are designed for plinking, especially the kitty one, just for plinking. So we'll do the best we can. 
but uh, let's knock some targets down. All right. All right. You start. You want to start on the right side? Yeah. Work I'll left. The, uh, I'm going to start with the bottom. I'll start with the top. Seems how ours is a little more accurate. Okay. All right. See, that's what I was saying. This thing is just perfect for the little ones because it's designed for plinking. I'll leave you one shot and so I'll see if you can get lucky. Yeah, I'm cleaning that bottom row out for you there. Okay, let me, I'll try a shotgun shell. Oh, it went shell. through. Yep, that's yeah, shotgun right. shell. So what do you think of that, huh? Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Bottom. So see, this is something you can do with the whole family. This is designed for the little ones so they can practice shooting. It's lightweight. I mean, you could actually shoot this one like a pistol almost. But uh, yeah, so you can see we've been pretty accurate. We cleared that bottom row and the top row. And there you now go. one little one in the back corner. Oh, you want to see that? Yeah, you yeah, got the one in the back down. corner. So see, even the full size one, which is only a few bucks more, you just want to pump that up once, twice. You're going to be equivalent to the power of this one. The good thing about this one is it's just it's just the short stature for the little ones. It's very lightweight. Anyway, so that's our plinking session. So let's move on and wrap this up. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. Well, I can just sum this up with one word: fun. This really is, you know, sometimes really simple and basic can be a lot of fun. Just a BB shooter that's really easy to load, easy to pump up. It's just really simple and sometimes that can be really, really fun. All right, let me talk about my negatives uh, with this rifle. I only have one and for the price point, it's pretty difficult because these are pretty inexpensive rifles. My negative is, and I can show you, both these are set up the same, but let me show you on camera here. My negative is loading pellets in this thing. It's a real pain. There's no ramp here. So if you have big fingers or big hands like I do, trying to get a pellet in there, it's extremely difficult. The kitty version, you really don't need to worry about it. It's got a smooth bore. It shoots BBs. That's, you could shoot pellets in it if you want to but it's very difficult. This thing needs a loading ramp so you can roll pellets into it. And that would be the same thing with this version. And that, I'm specifically more talking about this one, not the little one, but it's set up the same way. But uh, it's just the, the ramp, there is no ramp and it's really hard to load the pellets in there. Like I said, if you had small little fingers, it's probably not a problem, but uh, if you got any decent sized fingers or hands, it's, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. But the good thing is, is this performs really well with BBs, even in the rifled barrel here. So let's talk about all the positives, because there is a lot of positives with this rifle. There really is. First of all, these are extremely affordable. And again, that's why I brought these up for you guys, because with the high inflation, money is really tight right now. But you also want everybody to have a nice Christmas, and this just might be an option for you. And like I said, these two kits, whether the silver kit or that, they come with the shooting glasses. This one comes with some pellets. The small one comes with some BBs. They come with a few targets, and they're extremely affordable. So I said, I think the little one is right around, I saw it right around $45 for the, for the uh, junior version. So cool thing about these is, once again, they're really easy to pump. And let's, let's kind of separate these a little bit from uh, the junior one and uh, the adult version. Very easy to pump. Uh, you can adjust the velocity depending on how many times you pump it, whether it be one pump or 10 pumps. I like the fact that both of them, they have a reservoir that holds 50 BBs. So you can load it up and you got 50 shots. Uh, you just got to pump it up in between each shots or the little one, you just pump it one time. It's, it just has a open it up, close it one time and you're ready to go. This had really great accuracy as you guys um, saw that you saw that target that I shot but you know, again that was only at about 10 yards because I was shooting BBs out of it but uh, off camera we were shooting this 20 25 yards even with BBs and pretty much knocking everything down another thing is these look really cool they both look cool I mean whether it be the the kids version or the adult version I mean just the finish on them the fit and finish looks fantastic I mean right down to the matching um, 
polished butt plate right there. It's really, just really cool. They really look nice. Like I said, the fit and finish is fantastic. I like that it's lightweight. And this is something, the, the kids version, this is something that the little kitties, um, when they just get started shooting and teach them how to hold a rifle, it's not too heavy and awkward. It's easy. Like I said, it's just a one pump and there's nothing to it. They can just do that and they're ready to go. So you gotta like that. So you can introduce your kids to shooting with this. The great thing about both of them, extremely quiet. These are totally backyard friendly. They really are. Oh, and I wanted to show you a little thing that I did to these. Um, and my older eyes are tougher, but sometimes the front blade will disappear because it's dark. If you just put a little nail polish on this, and let me show you right here, if you can see that front blade there, you just put a little orange or red nail polish um, on here, and it really makes a nice sight picture. And that's something you can do. It just costs next to nothing. If you've got a lady in the house, I'm sure you have some nail polish somewhere. But you just put a little dab on that front blade, and it really helps with the sight picture. So how would I consider rating these? Well, consider on the price on them. I'm going to give them overall. It's going to, they're going to be four stars. They're going to be four stars because, like I said, this one, you pump this one up, you're getting some really good velocity, and you can shoot this out to that 20, 25 uh, yard range. So there's something here for the whole family, and it's extremely affordable. So maybe that'll be on your Christmas list, maybe not. Anyway, next week I'm going to bring you something else that can maybe fall into this same category. Because I want, as I said earlier, I want you all to have a great Christmas. All right, once again, I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you're getting a lot of shooting in. I hope you and your family are doing really well. So take care and God bless.